Roberto Duran challenging Sugar Ray Leonard. Last minute instructions from Angelo Dundee. Last minute instructions from Ray Arcel. We're ready. And round one of the long-awaited Sugar Ray Leonard. Roberto Duran, welterweight championship fight. Ferdy, Leonard is flat-footed. He did not come out to dance. He wants to go toe-to-toe with him. He's flat-footed. Because if Ray doesn't get out of there, he's going to get his ribs broken. He's punching with the intensity that only Roberto Duran can punch with. Why would they want Leonard to take him inside? Incredible fight. Not what we expected at all. I figured it would be a dancing Leonard, but he wants to beat Duran at Duran's kind of fight. But Duran is still in front of him. Duran punching away. Leonard taking everything. They're yelling, move away, Leonard, but he won't. He's in the hole. He's been hurt on a foot, but he comes back. Hurt Duran. Duran is hurt. Duran is hurt. In boxing terms, they call this a war. 24 AR. seconds remaining in the 14th round. doesn't have to fight the 15th round. There's the clock. I Seven. can't believe it. Six. I can't five, believe it. Four. Duran thinks he has won the fight. I can't believe it. Duran. Duran. It's over. Duran. What you want to look for here in the early going is if Leonard can establish anything. Already he's showing more movement than he showed in the first fight. There's a blow to the midsection by Leonard. The net stung Duran. Duran. Leonard trying to work the left. Duran trying the ball in broad. Halfway himself through the ropes. And Leonard getting out to ring center. Round seven. fighters great skills should be a great fight this is for the undisputed welterweight championship there is no three knockdown rule applying and it will go 15 rounds or less thomas hearns fighting for more than the undisputed championship even though he's unbeaten it's been sure to ray leonard has received most of the attention as their careers have paralleled each other and despite the loss to roberto duran leonard's avenging of that defeat Still has him high on the top. I like the way Tommy Hearns throws that straight right hand to the body, Tim. That sets up a lot of other punches for him. Missed with a straight right down the pipe, but throws another combination behind it. And Ray, Ray a nice move off the ropes there, Gil. Yeah, but Ray is not punching back, Tim. Right at this moment, he's not in the fight offensively. The undisputed welterweight championship at stake. The flicking left jab of Thomas Hearns. This is the way that Tommy Hearns boxed when he was an amateur, Tim. He wasn't known as a big puncher in the amateur, but he was a beautiful boxer, and he was able to win most of his fights by outboxing his opponent. So he can box. You know, right hand landed by Hearns. Tim uh, Hearns was so in a good left hook to the body by Hearns, so, but he was so successful, he won those rounds boxing. Now he's back 
bombing again. And he just scored another good combination. Leonard finding a little range with the left jab now. And a right hand. Right hand staggers Tommy Hearn. Hearn's in trouble again. Leonard all over him. Leonard pounding away with combinations inside. Hearn's trying to grab him. Can't do it. Hearn's driven into the ropes. Leonard pounds him right gone. through the ropes. Everybody else here does. Big right hand. Hearn staggers along the ropes. Leonard after him. He's in all kinds of trouble again. Gil, how come the Hearns doesn't grab on the Leonard here? Tim, he's not trying to grab. He's never been in this position before. He doesn't know how to grab. He's always had the other guy in that but position. Leonard staying right there. Measuring his spots, pounding to the bottom, and a right to the head. And Davy Pearl steps in that it. A 14th round knockout victory for Sugar Ray Leonard. Coming from behind to claim the undisputed runaway championship of the world. Very clear that Leonard is trying to fight a tactical fight, moving away, punching in flurries, clinching, moving again. Once again, to harken back to something that Ray Leonard told me a few months back was, you get in, you throw three punch combinations, you make one punch count, and you get out. You do that three times around and you win a decision. A good right. Very Ray good right. hurt. Big right hand by Marvin Hagler. And now Hagler chases Leonard. This is what Hagler wants. He wants a war. Now Hagler being the aggressor. Has Leonard on the ropes. Leonard trying to fight his way off the ropes. Hagler hammers him back onto them. Leonard got the better of that. That was a good left hand by Hagler. And Leonard now with his back to the ropes. And another left hand by Hagler. And that more than got Leonard's attention. Ray Leonard is hurt in the corner. Leonard's left hand down at his side. Hagler peppering him. Leonard now tries to fight off the ropes. Ray Leonard looks like a tired fighter, but I keep thinking that it's a ploy. I don't think it's a ploy. I think he is tired, but he's gathering his strength for a few round-stealing flurries is what he's trying to do. He's a tremendously intelligent athlete, both in the way he fights tactically, and now I think coming down home stretch, he's going to try to steal these rounds. Ray has taken Hagler's back. on his side. Otherwise, he can find himself climbing a mountain again as in the first fight. Great left. And now it is Hearns who wobbles against the rope. A tremendous left hook following the right hand by Ray Leonard. And now Hearns 
is holding on for dear life, which is something he didn't do in the first fight. Right and left. Leonard just missing with and a right land. Turns in a lot of trouble with a long way to go in this round. I've ever seen Ray Leonard in right here. He is right badly now, he is a Ray Leonard in all likelihood trailing on points in the closing minutes against Tommy Hearn. He's been in that position once before. Oh, a solid right hand by Hearn. Spectacular right cross, and Leonard is in trouble again. There is no quit in either of these great warriors. Coming across the finish line with nothing left. They've given every ounce of what they have in their hearts, and they have big hearts. And Bobby Shirley scores the bout. 112. 112. It goes without saying, we take this as a major shock. A lot of suspicion coming in here tonight, Larry, that the crowd would line up more behind Duran than behind Leonard. So far, there's been no reason for the chance of Duran, Duran, or Cholo, Cholo. Now, I don't know if Ray has won the crowd over, but Duran may have lost it. A good, good left hand. Solid left hand by Leonard. And Duran is wobbly for a second. Appears to have weathered this storm, but there's another right hand. And another. You know, Duran isn't doing a no moss here, but it may be no moss for his career, Jim, even though he still owns the middleweight championship. In a way, this is about the sad death of a king. but it renews the boxing life of another king. Indeed, this mask of blood now stands as an ironic symbol of the danger Ray Leonard carries with him every time he enters the ring. It hasn't cost him yet. Against Kevin Howard, against Marvin Hagler, against Donnie Lalonde, against Tommy Hearns, nor tonight against Roberto Duran. In Bob Lucci, for the last 120 to 110 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World Sugar, Ray Lennon.